Centuries of criminal law prohibiting the possession of contraband items crash into the 21st century Internet in Oregon's State v. Barger. While investigating a report that Barry Barger had sexually abused a child, police spoke to Barger's wife, who showed officers their home computer. Officers noted some suspicious locations on the computer's browsing history. A few weeks later, Mrs. Barger allowed police to take the computer for further examination. Nothing objectionable had been actively saved on the computer's hard drive, but police found images of sexually explicit conduct involving a child in a temporary Internet file cache. When a computer user visits a web page for the first time, the browser creates a copy of the web page and stores it in a temporary file cache. If the user later returns to the same page, the browser accesses the copy from the temporary cache instead of downloading the entire web page again. The cache stays there until it's written over or deleted. Many casual Internet users aren't aware that such temporary caches exist on their computers. Barger was charged with second-degree encouraging child sexual abuse by possessing or controlling a visual recording of sexually explicit conduct involving a child. The state offered no evidence that Barger knew these temporary cache files existed on his computer. Barger moved for a judgment of acquittal, arguing that he didn't knowingly place the images on his hard drive. The court denied his motion. Barger was convicted after a jury trial, and the Court of Appeals affirmed. Barger appealed to the Oregon Supreme Court.